Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, we got some legend news, some pound for pound news, you know, stuff going on. And I'm probably going to be complaining, right? But if this wasn't, it wouldn't be Doma, now would it? Now listen, <clears throat> we've heard, you know, Manny Pacquiao is going to fight uh, Conor McGregor. Said it about, what, two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Bottom line is, Manny Pacquiao can do what the hell he want to do. You know, you know, might as well don't complain. My only issue is, hey, listen, give up that WBA strap. Let these younger cats go for it. If Manny Pacquiao going to fight Conor McGregor, it's cool. Now, the double standards with that, I've talked about as well. You know, because we wasn't, everybody wasn't okay with that when Mayweather was doing it. That's my only issue there, but Manny Pacquiao can do what the hell he was. That's what, what, what part of legend we all don't understand, right? No problem with that. So let him go on and do that. Just give up that title. Now, let him give up that title. That should probably go to the regular champion. What is that? Jordanius Ugas, right? Should go to him if the WBA is going to be consistent. Because we just seen him give the title to Murata, right? Didn't we? So if he's going to give the title to Murata, Right in the in the uh, super what is it, in the middleweight division after Canelo vacated the belt, then damn it, you should do the same thing with Ugas, and there shouldn't be no questions. But I can remember when Ugas was regular became regular champion, and he was all happy about it. People was talking about all of a sudden how bad regular he is. You just a regular champion? I was like, yeah, well, it's a lot of just regular champions that you guys are, you know, are hailing because Manny Pacquiao had that before, didn't he? But okay, but well, Ugas should just get the title. He shouldn't have to fight for it because neither did Murata. My issue was Murata should have fought you, Chris Eubank for it. He didn't have to, so neither should Ugas. Somebody go fight Ugas, and then boom. When you get the fight between uh, Errol Spence, who's got the IBF and the, what is it, WB, what, WBA, I think it is. Then he, no, the WB, IBF and WB, uh, WBC. Then uh, when him and WBO champ Terrence Crawford fight, then it should be for undisputed. That's all my, my whole issue is. But speaking of Errol Spence, guys, Right? Errol Spence has been officially avoided. We don't like to say ducked, really. I might say it later on once or twice. But we like, he's officially avoided. Right? So, Matty Pacquiao basically has avoided Errol Spence. Right? Right? Saying he's Errol Spence too slow for him, but he's basically not going to fight him now. Cool. Right? It's cool. But, um, let's uh, you make sure this is clear. He ain't going to fight Errol Spence. But my point about Errol Spence is, I know we're going to fathom, hey, he didn't fight Errol Spence. But make sure this is clear. Errol Spence, you are now a member, official member of the Manny Pacquiao Don't Want to Fight You Either Club. Right? <laughs> you know, MP Do Club. Manny Pacquiao Don't Want to Fight You, you know, you. Right? MPDU or whatever. You in that club now. You know, Floyd Man was the only place. Right? And Terrence Crawford is the chairman. You know, there's only three, three, two or three people in there, right? Manny Pacquiao don't want to fight Errol Spence right now, and he hasn't wanted to, to do that to Terrence Crawford for years, which is another badge of honor for Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, because Terrence Crawford is not a big welterweight. He was, didn't want to, Manny Pacquiao didn't want to fight him in 135 and 140 and 147. So that's one. As a matter of fact, speaking of clubs, right? Shoot, Terrence Crawford is in the number one pound for pound club. Ain't but about six, seven people in there. You know, in the last 20 years. You know, Floyd Mayweather in that one too. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Lomachenko, Golovkin, you know, Andre Ward and them boys. You know, now Canelo, he, he was letting them in. You know, barely, you know, he could barely get in. He got he to complain. He got to get somebody some money to get in. Don't get on my nerves. Don't even try it. Right? Anyway, so that's another club. As a matter of fact, don't we got the Undisputed Club? The Undisputed Club. Right? Boom. You know, it's only two people in there, ain't it? If you don't get the old dude, that's all, all, Alexander Ozick and your boy Terrence Crawford again. Three clubs. Errol Spence got to do some stuff to get in them clubs, now don't. Right? Because if you talk about Undisputed, you know, ain't nothing but Lennox Lewis up in there. You know, you know he, he's all in there. He sleep in the corner all the time. He's up in there lonely. You know, and then Jermaine Taylor and, and, and Bernard Harkins up in there. Right? And Uzi and Terrence Crawford. Ain't too many people in the Undisputed Club. You know what I'm saying? Those are the clubs that Terrence Crawford is a part of. Now, let me say this too. Terrence Crawford, you know, the people he beat, 
in his career is ridiculous. But I'm just saying, his welterweight career of recently, it's always, you know, kind of, you know, this. People ain't trying to give him no love for the people he beats at wel welterweight like he hasn't fought anybody. But I'm just saying, Amir Khan and Kell Brook, those are the ones with the most losses that he's fought of late. Right? Amir Khan and Kell Brook are, are talking about they might fight now. In England, that's still a big fight, even after all the losses. He's beat both of them easily. Right? Kell Brook, by the way, you know, got some wins. Right? Kell Brook beat Sean Porter. Right? Make sure that's clear. Kell Brook beat Sean Porter, and Kell Brook was the guy who gave Gennady Golovkin, even though his two weight divisions lower, all he can handle for five rounds until that eye socket got broke. Right? Then, how many people going to fight Gennady Golovkin two weight classes higher and then come back and fight the boogeyman of the division, Nero Spence, right after coming off an eye socket injury? Pretty awesome for Kell Brook, right? Kell Brook has never been beat, beaten that resoundly like he was from your boy Terrence Crawford. That's what's up. So that's somebody he beat. You know, Kell, Kell Brook was 34-0. He beat Kavalikas, right? Kavalikas was 20, uh, no, 34-2, Kell Brook. Kavalikas was 21-0. Right? Be Tux is old. Everybody ain't beat him. Amir Khan was 33 and 4. Right? Uh, who's, uh, who else was uh, what to wait? Jose Benavides, 27 and 0. Right? Jeff Horn just coming off of beating Manny Pacquiao was 18 and 0. Right? And just beat Manny Pacquiao. Right? That's a whole lot of wins and only six losses. I didn't count them up. But if you look at his last 17 fights, it's 449 and 33 losses. I was just doing a little research on that. I was like, man, this dude is beating a lot of dudes. For us to be talking about he hasn't done anything in welterweight, I don't know. He probably hasn't fought, you know, Sean Porter yet. But I fought the guy who beat Sean Porter, right? I haven't fought Manny Pacquiao, which is the reason why we can constantly say, hey, you know, who has he fought? He hasn't had to make, the, you know, he hasn't fought a mainstream guy. Well, a mainstream guy, the biggest guy out there with the biggest name right now in boxing because Floyd Mayweather's gone hasn't wanted to fight him for ages. And you know what's something? Here's, here's how this works, too. The public, the boxing public, don't even want to see that fight. Never has. Imagine that. They want to see Pacquiao against a lot of people. But, you know, never has wanted to see him versus Terrence Crawford. How good do you have to be if they don't even want to see Pacquiao beat up this brother? Right? Because they know it's not going to happen. So they never wanted to see it. So, my point about this is this is basically a Terrence Crawford uh, a respect video, right? It's just, you know, give the man his respect, right? Uh, even in the welterweight division, all those O's and the only ones that didn't have O's was Amir Khan and Kell Brook. And watch how much ballyhoo and stuff we're about to hear about Amir Khan because he made one statement lately that, oh, it's time to shut Kell Brook up. And now Kell, Kell Brook then came back and said, well, you know, I'll fight you anytime and I'll beat you. And I'm happy that he's talking about it. And England might get happy about that. If it wasn't a pandemic, they could probably still, still fill the stadium or get it 75% capacity, right? It used to be 100% capacity, but there's 75% capacity in the stadium. And they both got beat by Terrence Crawford real bad, right? And let me tell you why that's not a problem with them. Not because they're in England somewhere, no. It's because losing to Terrence Crawford is not a big deal. That's how awesome he is. You see what I'm saying? So that's just something. And we sitting here as brothers arguing about that when we're watching the whole landscape of boxing. The whole landscape of boxing. And there's some really, really ridiculous things going on in the landscape of boxing. My uh, second to the last video, I was talking about that, you know. Wasn't feeling so good, so I had to just talk about everything at one time. But uh, the landscape of boxing right now is it's just, it's been corrupt. It's always corrupt. But it's blatant in your face. You know, it's that Trump type corrupt. You know, right in your face, I'm going to do this because I got some people following me type of corruption going on right now, and we sitting here arguing about uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, right? Both of them are awesome, and well, how much money they get in none of our damn business, they should just make the fight happen, but if it happens, it should be for undisputed. It shouldn't be for no damn you know, a belt that Pacquiao got a belt somewhere else. I think everybody right now, in unison, should be saying, Matty Pacquiao, go ahead and fight Conor McGregor, we ain't got no problem with it, but vacate that damn belt. I think we can agree on that. What y'all think? Dome Sports Talk Worldwide. And we up out of here, y'all. Later.